Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is a Futures Investor. Today I want to go over Aqua Bounty. Um, Aqua Bounty is a company that sells genetically engineered salmon. And in the future they hope to expand into more uh, seafood. But today we're going to go over that and whether or not I think it's a good investment. Um, so if you like this content, please like and subscribe. Let's get to it. So be sure to check out my Weibo link. I'm going to leave it in the comment in the description below. Um, you receive up to 12 free stocks if you deposit any amount. And I'll also receive um, free stocks in return. So just to be transparent, uh, it's a great service. I use it all the time to trade. So please check that out. So who is Aqua Bounty? They're pioneers in land-based aquaculture. And aquaculture is pretty much raising animals that generally live in the oceans, or rivers, uh, they're raising them on land into these uh, human-made facilities like you see in this picture uh, and they genetically um, create these animals, engineer these animals uh, so currently they work with salmon and they look to expand into multiple different types of uh, seafood creatures um, and they currently have 25 years of operation experience I didn't really know that this existed 25 years ago so it's pretty cool that they have lots of experience doing this. So the difference between aqua bounty salmon uh, and normal salmon. Uh, so aqua bounty salmon was genetically engineered to reach a growth marker much faster than uh, normal Atlantic salmon. So this gives the ability for the salmon to grow a lot faster. Global food fish consumption increased an average annual rate of about 3.1% from 1961 to 2017. Uh, and at this rate, it's higher than all other, other animal proteins, so meat, dairy, and milk. Um, I think that has a lot to do with most of um, humans actually being surrounded by the ocean. And it's the easiest way that people are able to access food. So fish consumption is actually going to grow much higher over time than every other um, protein. So the global population is expected to be 9 billion people by 2050. So there's just going to be more and more people and we already have uh, severe food insecurities all over the world. So aquaculture is going to be able to um, benefit from this. Um, so there's a current problem with overfishing and by 2048 um, some experts are expecting the world's oceans to be virtually empty by 2048 due to overfishing. So um, Aqua Bounty will be able to um, capitalize off of some of these issues. So Aqua Bounty believes with their aquaculture techniques that they'll be um, more efficient. So with their genetically engineered salmon, um, they grow a lot faster. So they believe that they'll be more efficient, more sustainable. Um, this has less of an impact on the environment than general fishing um, and also more profitable. So as we'll see later in this video, I question that because they have a hard time controlling costs and also they don't make that much money yet. So we'll see where the profitability comes in the future. So this is a study that was done by Aqua Bounty. So take that with a grain of salt. It might be biased, but 7 out of 10 respondents said that he would have a high interest in purchasing this genetically engineered salmon. Um, public opinion about genetically modified foods. 48% um, that think that it would have no effect on them. 10% uh, actually think it would be better. And 39% say it would be worse. So, you know, most people don't really have a strong opinion about this. Uh, me personally, um, as long as the food tastes the same and it won't have a negative effect on me, I probably would try it. What I think people fail to realize is that most of the food that we eat within the United States is actually genetically modified. So corn, which is the most commonly grown crop in the United States, most of it is genetically modified. And that's to reduce the need for insecticides uh, to prevent insect damage. And I think that's pretty important. Um, I don't think it has really any effect on people's health. Uh, I think scientists know what they're doing. So in my opinion, Something being genetically modified doesn't really change the healthiness of the product. So currently Aqua Bounty has two farms, so in Indiana and Canada, and they have one more coming in Ohio and a R&D facility also in Canada. 
they have big plans in the future of expanding globally. So here they want four to five farms in the U.S. and Canada by 2030. Uh, they want to be in Brazil and Argentina, China, and Israel. So they have uh, extremely big plans in the future of expanding, as well as expanding, expanding into different species. So they're looking into getting into shrimp, which is the number one selling seafood in the U.S., along with tilapia, which they already have approval for in Argentina. This is just diversify their business and diversify some of their revenue streams. So there are a number of risks for this company, uh, especially build out costs for each facility. So the average cost of these facilities costs $175 million, which is a whole lot of money. This is more than their market cap currently sitting at about $71 million. So, you know, they're looking to build four or five within the United States and Canada. You know, that's almost a billion dollars where you're talking about uh, facilities. So it's going to be really expensive and probably going to have to bring a lot of dilution along with that um, based off the fact that they don't make that much money. Along with their cost of revenues, so they're about $3 million in 2019 and they went up to $10 million by 2021. So we see a huge increase in the cost of um, revenue. Also their growth profit is extremely negative. Uh, margins are negative. So they're not really operating at an efficient level at all. So when it comes to profitability, you know, you're talking about 2030. In the 2030s for this company, it's going to take a very long time for them to uh, turn this business around. They have approximately $148 million, which is over their current market cap of $71 million. So they're trading below cash value as a company. So that's a benefit. Um, the bad thing is they are burning cash. So they burned about $50 million within a year. So and you know they're going to need more money to um, raise more money to actually build more facilities because they don't currently make that much money to actually fund that so they will have to fund that through, di through dilution so overall i do think we're going to be eating to more more genetically modified sea creatures so fish shrimp um, i just see with the increase in population and the decrease in sea population I think we're going to be eating more genetically modified and engineered creatures. That's just my opinion. Um, so will Akabani be able to capitalize off of this? We have yet to see. Um, they are one of the only companies doing this. So, you know, they don't have too much competition, but their costs are really high and they're not making a lot of profit. And they're not making a lot of money. This is a tough environment for companies like this. So we'll see if they make it through. Um, maybe I speculate a little bit buy a little bit but I would not buy too much of this company um, it's really just kind of a gamble here this is not financial advice of course um, please be sure to like and subscribe um, and thanks